What's up, comic amigos, and welcome back to the Team Nerd Herd Top Pick Show. Um, we want to thank you for all your support. We want to thank you for all those subs and likes. Um, we really do appreciate it. But let's get on with the show, and let's start with a little roll call. Let's pass this on to Alonzo. What's up, Alonzo? What up, nerds? This is Alonzo, a.k.a. Comics and Pops on Instagram. I am a comic book nerd as well as a pop culture fanatic. Over to you, Nick. Yo, Nick over here, Fire Cell Comics, um, Marvel nerd, uh, general commentator about pop culture. I'm going to pass that over to uh, JR. Let's go. This is JR, Rogue's Law on Instagram, your Star Wars nerd, your Marvel nerd, your all around nerd. Uh, let's head it over to Rob. What's up with you, sir? What's going on, guys? Big Rob, Rob's Nerd Haven on Instagram, and I'm just chilling with you guys tonight. Let's go on to Ian. And uh, my name's Ian. You can catch me at Hood Rat Comics over on Instagram. I'm just your uh, Weenie the Pooh Honey Pot Finder, schizophrenic, cl- <laughs> uh, schizophrenic collector. All right, let's so let's get let's get on with this. Uh, let's what what you got for us this week, uh, Jr. Okay, so my pick of the week is Marvel's main event going on right now. This is Lord of the Empires, Celestial Messiah. This is the son of Mantis and Swordsman, um, and he's going to be your big villain for this run um he's pretty much a badass this is why the korean scroll teamed up to fight they're fighting the koti or i don't even know how the hell you say it but if you go back and read avengers scroll war or avengers kree scroll war you'll understand why they don't like each other this was the third party in that whole run um i think this is going to be a key one this is i believe the first appearance of this guy or first cover appearance of him and I believe the first appearance was Avengers Avengers Fantastic Four Empire Zero but you've got this cover and the next cover and I actually like the other one better yeah, but this too. is your this is your variant mm-hmm. kind of feels like a really bad Native American kind of vibe to it he looks like a mm-hmm. zombie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But I think with the feathers and stuff, kind of a Native American, because they're kind of like a hippie race. They're like they built this whole garden and like that was their whole thing. The Cree built God this war it. type things, and they built a garden. And the Cree then went and killed almost all of them. It's Harvey the Birdman, the zombie. I don't like the hair. But, but either way, I think this is going to be a key <laughs> issue. I think this character is going to be something to look at down the future maybe even show up in some movies who knows Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll see Uh, what do we got next coming up Ian? You got me so uh, this week I'm going with Firepower so I wasn't I wasn't too uh, excited about this until I read the uh, the free comic book day um, book and that one really really got me Um, so first of all like we we all saw this movie right We, we all love movies like this and books like this we got you know iron fist last dragon american ninja and stuff like that but i'm saying who who cares man who who gives a shit like i love these type of movies i mean i love watching you know these movies getting made over and over again i love the uh the kung fu western soul searcher man and that's what this guy is this guy's a protagonist his name is uh owen wilson um he goes on the search for his long lost parents he was adopted in america um, by two, by, uh, you know, pretty good parents, but he wanted to find himself and, um, he trained himself while looking for his parents. And when he actually made his way to this land, I'm not going to give too much away. Like, uh, he was, he was a pretty good fighter, you know? So, um, it's a real fresh take on this, uh, Kung Fu Western. Um, you have, you know, a master who teaches, uh, you know, his student, you have the long lost love, you have the hard believer and you got the antagonist. And they are called the Scorched Earth Clan. Um, but it is a great book. And this is brought to you by Robert, Robert Kirkman. And, uh, you know, everybody knows Robert Kirkman of Walking Dead, Invincible, and Ob- Oblivious, Oblivion, Oblivion Song. And then you got the artist who was Chris Samney, who has uh, touched uh, Thor, Avengers, Daredevil, and uh, Rocketeer. Um, but I, what, what I really like about this book is um, some of the themes in, uh, in it. Um, this whole little uh, concept of un- unwanted responsibilities, um, and that's part of what uh, is part of the story. And also, like what I really like, really like about it is um, the theme of marginality. Um, a lot of us who are 
uh, come from two different cultures, uh, kind of understand this. And uh, even if you're from one culture and you're in America, you're always caught between one word and the other. And uh, I think this this really sinks to that. Um, and we got a second cover. Uh, actually, number one and number two come out next week. So um, if you can get that free comic book day, I know uh, a lot of shops are charging five bucks for it now. Um, and uh, you can get the uh, the trade that came out, which is like a prelude to all the books. Um, and that one is awesome. Like the master in there, his name is um, Master Wei Loon. Um, and then I'm not gonna, well, I'll give away a little bit. Like this dude wears Jordans. He likes, I, he likes, um, he listens to uh, pretty cool music like Radiohead and I, I really like him. I thought he brought like a lot of freshness to this. Um, but yeah, go and check this out. Um, like I said, grab that, uh, uh, the free comic book day one and the prelude. Um, and you'll be all set for a little firepower with Robert Kirkman. So moving on, what you got, Rob? Well, I got some guy named Batman. I don't even know him, but uh, <laughs> yeah. this is Batman 96. Uh, it's a continuation of the Joker War, one of the hottest stories in comic books. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's Batman. It's, it's, it's punchline. It's the Joker. It's uh, Batgirl just getting, if you read Batgirl, she's in trouble. But uh, Robin is an interesting turn of events for him in this storyline. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm definitely appreciating the art, the story. I, I highly recommend Jump on Batman if you could at least get some of these back issues to, if you haven't been on it. I highly recommend that as well. Um, the art, you know, it's cover A, it's a decent cover, and Martina's been killing it on uh, cover B. Pretty much every cover is fire, and there's also uh, one in 25 and Senna, which shows a new character. Uh, can we see that picture there, Ian? Yeah, so the Clown Hunter, he's going to be the new character. He's uh, should be around for a while. Um, I don't know how much he will be, but uh, it's an interesting design to him. I don't, I don't know about that, that hat he's wearing. Uh, I don't know how that stigmatifies him with the Clown Hunter. It, to me, it reminds me of a rooster when I look at him, but uh, whatever. Or Savage Dragon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Savage Dragon with a uh, tie. <laughs> and he's skinny and white. But um, He's a businessman. He means business. Yeah. Maybe, Clown that's, Hunter. Red, maybe that's Red Goblin's death. <laughs> uh, well, so uh, Clown Hunter, he, I guess he's on the Batman side. He has a little uh, batarang on his bat there. And he hunts, he hunts down clowns. So definitely interesting to get to meet this guy and see what how he uh, comes out about. And uh, yeah, Batman '96. Get, get your pull, get on your pull list. It's uh, must get. It's uh, all the way to the eye of the All right. So uh, what you got, Alonzo? All right. So for me, and this book's always on my pull is the Black Cat, and it's number twelve. So if you have been reading this book, uh, you know that. At the very end of issue 11, Black Cat dones or or gets her first Iron Man type armor. So in this issue, you actually get to see it and see her actually use it. So I'm I'm really really excited about it and interested in it. I think there's um, and if you've read the, some of the Avengers books where Black Widow got her own Iron Man armor, I think this this will also get a lot of hype, uh, especially. Um, seen black cat who's not an avenger doesn't have anything to do with avengers or anything like that don this uh this armor and cover b is where you actually get to see her and that's a scan cover uh, so this is the variant and you get to see her in the actual armor and i think it looks really cool the only thing that i do not like and i think it's the the ponytails in the back yeah. not a big fan of it but other than that i think it's it's an exciting cover a lot of stuff going on and again, I really want to see what uh, Black Hat does uh, using this uh, stolen uh, uh, Tony Stark uh, armor. She stole it, and it looks perfect for her. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's one of those things like uh, so One Tony. Fits all. Yeah, exactly. Um, has this um, virtual um, God? What is it like? Um, armor mill or or whatever. She goes in there and she's like, oh, this is really easy to use, kind of like uh, playing dolls. So you start to put things together and it's, it's made made to fit. And it's probably using those like uh, nanites uh, mm -hmm. that um, um, have, have been known to kind of 
warm the body of of, uh, of the of whoever's using it. It looks like there's a hinge in her ear, like those ears. They move up and like you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, they probably yeah. fly, they probably go like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like she's a chobit or something like that. Probably, oh, probably when she sure. hears music, they light up and she goes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if that's what she wanted on her armor, I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> uh, but I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. I just, I just don't. Glad someone does that, that ponytail. <laughs> but I, I do like the scan variant versus the uh, Campbell variant. Thanks, Alonzo. Um, and uh, moving on to our man with the deal. What you got, Nick? Ah, uh, so this isn't like a CGC deal. This is more of a raw deal right now. This book is still going pretty cheap raw. Um, it's going for under $50 raw in most conditions. Uh, you can find near mint ones on the higher end of that. But this is the first Cersei. Um, I, I forgot the actress who's playing her, but uh, Jimma Chan. Jimma Chan, right? Jimma Chan. And like, I don't know if a lot of people know the rumors of what this movie is going to be about, but. From what I can tell and the rumors I've heard is it's it's going to be about the love story of her and the Kit Harrington character. Um, so the major integral roles in this movie. And this is a key that still can be found for, you know, I, I saw a sale here for nine dollars of a, of a fine condition book. You know, this is a this is old old book. Um, CGCs are still hot. CGC 9.8s are still, you know, four hundred dollars. 9.6s are still high, uh, but you can find sixes, sevens out there that are clean or can be cleaned up. You know, um, pretty cheap. Uh, this is just a book that you know you should have in your collection if you're trying to build your collection out and have a solid collection. Um, this is could be looked at as a Bronze Age key. Yeah, a really big one, you know, five years from now. Mm-hmm. And it's Kirby, wow. too, isn't it? Yeah, hey, you can tell those Kirby faces. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with the king. Right, and uh, I mean... Gemma Chan. Gemma Chan, right? They killed her in one movie for her to rise in another movie as a different yeah. character. <laughs> I remember, like, I was watching Captain Marvel, and uh, spoilers, she doesn't make it out of that movie alive. Um, but when she hits the hits the cannon the canyon wall, I was just like, "Oh, well, there goes her." That that happened. <laughs> but now I'm chance. I'm not exactly familiar with the whole Eternal story. I never read it. But don't they have ties to the whole Cree and all that stuff, too? They're space people, um, so you know, I guess you could lose lose tie. Uh, well. Well, I know that there was the primordials and all that stuff, but I thought they kind of tied into the whole Inhumans and that whole Cree thing there. But uh, thanks a lot for joining us again for uh, the Team Nerd Herd podcast and our top picks and our what if. We really appreciate it. But um, JR, what's up, man? You want to tell the world on where else you can find us? Uh, you can find us on Instagram and on Facebook with the name team nerd hurt podcast all one word uh we're always putting out updates on both the platforms we have questions that we put out there give us some topics stuff like that you can talk smack about us tell us what book you think is going to be hot um and that's about it over there anything else we got ian nope um and uh, if you can just leave a comment um on below we'd really appreciate it and that helps us with this uh youtube um algorithm that we're trying to catch. Um, but uh, thanks a lot for joining us again. And um, we really appreciate all the support. And uh, Nick, you want to take us out, bro? Yeah, man. Because if you want to do it right, collect what you like. Boom. DJ Abomination.